Hey guys, in uh, today's video, I will show you how to back up the configuration file uh, in the FreeNAS uh, system, especially the FreeNAS 11.4.2 release. So why do we need to back up the configuration file? It's simple um, because um, just in case of um, majority of us, most likely going to be running the FreeNAS from the USB uh, drive, flash drive. And uh, believe it or not, USB is not that um, durable uh, compared to um, mechanical hard drive or SSD or solid state drive. And for that reason, uh, e even even uh, mechanical uh, drive or solid state, their chain is is my uh, resource in the device failure because many manufacturers. Uh, so for that reason we need to back up the configuration file and another reason is if uh, your USB or your boot drive fail you don't want to set everything up uh, from scratch because it's time consuming and nobody like time consuming right so that's the reason and with that from your FreeNAS home page you want to go down to the system and uh, general and easy you just hit on a uh, set config for um, all configuration and you're gonna pop up the um, dialog is say that uh, export password uh, secret C uh, and by default unchecked so what is the uh, password secret uh, secret C uh, so on the free net the uh, user manual it did tell you right here um, when save the config, it chosen a new screen, uh, re giving the option for inload the password uh, secret C with the save configurations, allowing the configuration to be restored with a different boot device where the decryption uh, C is not already recent. Um, configuration backup containing uh, the C must be physically secure to prevent a decryption of the password and unauthorized access. So basically, what it means is if your uh, encryption key for your pool. So when you first set up FreeNAS, it have an option for you to encrypt uh, your uh, pool, and uh, if you have sensitive data on it, and it's gonna generate a um, encryption key, and it can ask you uh, to download it. Uh, so later on, if you want to access the data, let's say your USB crash and you restore. The configuration file and you want to access that pool and you don't have the key and uh, your configuration file wasn't included the password secret C you will not able to access your data and with that because the configuration creation file is not actually encrypted backup uh, that's why they said that it had to be physically secure if somebody have a uh, get a hold on that uh, configuration backup they will be able to um, decrypt the data pool and uh, able to access your data uh, most of the most likely going to be home users so it's not going to be issue but at least keep it somewhere that uh, only you the one who have access to it and uh, go back to freeness so that's what i going to select just because i'm lazy <laughs> all right For those you didn't want to do that, um, you have an option to uh, save the configuration file without the um, export it without the uh, password uh, secrecy. And if you do that, you uh, make sure that you have the um, encryption key before uh, you detach the um, the the pool or you moving it to the newer system. So uh, from your storage, you go down to pool. Any pool with the um, the little block right in front of it, it means the en encryption is on. And you hit on it, and you click on the little lock icon. It will let you download the encryption key. Uh, so if you choose not to include the encryption key um, when you um, do the configuration backup, uh, you have to manually make sure that you manually download the key. Uh, without this key, you will not be able to access uh, data when you uh, 
move it to the new system and uh, with that uh, that um, the reason why I'm making this video because I'm actually in the process of moving my free NAS to uh, EXSI um, so the next in the next couple video I'm gonna have some uh, tutorial free NAS and uh, EX uh, on uh, EXSI and how you set it up uh, and uh, like always thank you for watching and uh, if you think the video is helpful, uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you can share it to your friend, that's even better. Thank you, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.